He wants you to want him. Cheap trick, Muskegon's 100.9. Andy, oh, it is 8.06 on your Tuesday as uh, everybody tries to make their way in. If you're heading over toward GR, give yourself a little extra time. That uh, big accident on 131 South at 96 has got things tied up over there as they're working on a uh, fuel spill cleanup. So be on the lookout for that if you're heading over that way. All right, so it starts off like this. Last week, um, somebody put up on my Facebook page that their brother was in need of a heart transplant, and they were having a uh, like a community garage sale to raise a little bit of money to help this guy out. I mean, who, and who, who doesn't need a hand when it comes to something as big as a heart transplant? Scary stuff. Well, about five minutes later, I see a uh, window pop up on my uh, Facebook page from somebody named Stevie Ryle, and I'm like, who is Stevie Ryle? Hmm. So I looked at it, and you are part of a, a big nonprofit here in town that people might know about that, you know, if the guy's looking for a heart transplant and needs some resources, you guys can help. That's true. It's through... It, we're the Muskegon Community Health Project. Okay. We're the Community Benefit Ministry of Mercy Health, so okay. the local health system. Sure. And we are a we're a, we're an organization that helps people get access to the health resources that they need. Okay. Whether it's maybe medication or help getting a physician, help connection, help getting connection to needed community resources. Uh, you know, things that can really help somebody stabilize when they're going through a medical crisis or they maybe have lost a job and they need to figure out how to get health coverage for their families, those kinds of things. All that kind of stuff. All now, that stuff. I, I would imagine that the need is absolutely unbelievable in and around Muskegon for these kind of services. Well, it is. I mean, you know, everybody everybody goes through bouts of, of needing, you know, maybe some support here and then. Yeah. And, um, you know, with the, the passage of the Affordable Care Act, despite the noise around it, um, you know, people have opportunities to get health coverage, which is the first step. And then you can, you know, not go in, not have catastrophic medical debt when you need to go to a, a provider or get your, your blood drawn, things like that. Um, but, you know, we really focus on the social determinants of health. So the things that would keep somebody with maybe like diabetes or um, congestive heart failure, keep them, you know, keep them equipped with the things that they need to to be healthy and be to, able to, to manage, work with their to manage the, to, yeah. to manage the con, con, uh, bleh, cold medicine. You got <laughs> Got anything to fix me? I could There's use it. cold medicine. I'll bet. <laughs> um, so they can, you can help manage uh, conditions. You can help. Can now, does, is, this a, is this a referral service? Do people come to you to find out, you know, oh, I got this problem. Who do I go see? Um, is it, how, 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 oh, what's the first step? I yeah. want to come and see you. So both. We do, we do refer to other agencies. We work very closely with lots of the nonprofits in town. But we also, when you come in, um, we have a very robust enrollment program. So you come in and we're going to screen you and see what you're eligible for. Okay. So that might be a public program like you would apply for at DHS. It could be food stamps. Um, the health system has a financial assistance program. So if you have medical debt and you're like, oh my gosh, I cannot, I, I can't pay this bill. I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't ignore the mail. Call right. us right. or call the, the hospital. They, they'll get you over to us. Um, but to make sure that you, you know, have what you need to, to move forward. Um, we also have a very big pharmaceutical access program. So do not not take your medications if it's because it's a $35 copay and that's stretching your budget if you're on a fixed income or you don't have coverage. Absolutely come see us. It's, it's hard to believe that there are those out there that, that can't afford the basic medications that yeah. they need. I, I get it. I until I started working in this work and I was, you know, a kid, I thought everybody had a, a yeah. dad with a five dollar prescription card in his right. wallet. Yeah, I grew up as a, in a teamster yeah. family and yep. and, and, and you know, that's that's remarkable health care coverage it to, is. to work with that kind of thing. But that's not out there. Now one of the things that and I, I just can't get in the middle of the fight because it doesn't make sense to me, but the whole affordable health care or Obamacare mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. Yep. it. To me, it seems like it was put in place to help people who really can't afford the health care in other ways. And they don't have the option to get that kind of insurance. Mm -hmm. Are, is, is that something that you guys would, would say you're experts in? The affordable health care thing to kind of help people navigate their way through it? I, I would. There's there's a group in the community. You know, Muskegon is really good at community. Yes. And we have a, a local coalition called Enroll West Michigan. The Health Project, the Health System, Hackley Community Care, Muskegon Family Care, Goodwill, Community Mental Health. We all came together and sat down last year and we said, you know, the health insurance marketplace is opening because mm -hmm. it opened last fall. That's, that's the Affordable Care Act. And we want to make sure that people have the information they need to get health coverage. Sure. And so we wanted to have 
the same messaging and we wanted to all be on the same page. And that group continues to meet. And there's tons of noise about that topic. And so we don't listen to it. We make sure that people know who they can ask yeah. when they want help to get health coverage, where they can go. And somebody will sit down with them and help them actually get it. And if you're not eligible for that, maybe you're eligible for the expanded Medicaid program, the Healthy sure. Michigan plan. So it's really just making sure that you have the coverage that you and your family need so that you can go to the doctor when you need to. Yeah. And, and, it's pretty simple. Or, or you know, or forced to. Yes. Some of us don't like to go to the doctor all that much. Well, if you have a spouse, much. that'll force you. That's good, too. <laughs> I've, I've been known to have that happen. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about um, the the other services that you offer. You can help people guide their way through the, the Affordable Care yeah. Act and all this other stuff. Do, do you offer classes for help, better living, you know, healthy health prevention, all that kind of thing? Well, we have a we have a big program that we're working right now, and it's it's one of my favorites because it's, it's so diverse in terms of who's participating in it. But um, Muskegon was awarded a very large federal grant a couple of years ago through the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, and we started a program. It's called Pathways to Better Health. Okay. The health projects involved and many of the, the, the groups that I mentioned a minute ago were involved. Yeah. And what it does is it deploys community health workers who are individuals who really know how to navigate our community. Yeah. And they're working with people who have two or more chronic diseases and diseases and have Medicare or Medicaid, or maybe you're potentially eligible for it. And they are helping them connect to classes. They're helping them understand how to manage their chronic disease. They're helping them, you know, um, get to a safer environment if that's needed. Things that will really help stabilize them so that their chronic disease is not managing them. So some of the chronic diseases in around Muskegon, what are some mm-hmm. of the big ones that people are, are facing? Diabetes, yeah. uh, heart disease, obesity. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the, you know, the big three. What are you looking at me for when you say I'm not looking at I'm you. I'm just kidding. You're the only one I'm in the room. <laughs> hey, I'll be the first to admit it. You know, I could I could do a heck of a lot better when it comes to eating and nutrition and all that you kind of stuff. You and me both. That's Everybody. Why I, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's just one of those things that people kind of put on the back burner yeah. a, a, a lot because of you know either. Uh, bad eating habits or bad hours or you know yeah. uh, just a crazy busy life well and it's more expensive to eat healthy it if is. you don't know any differently it is well i do know differently and i've got nobody to blame but myself so <laughs> shame on me <laughs> Where can people go to find out a little bit more about all the work that you do? They the can go to the Health Project website, so www.mchp.org. Okay. Or they can look us up on Facebook, which is probably more up to date than our website yeah. right now. Um, doing a little work on that, doing right? Doing a little work on okay. it. Okay. Um, or they can call our office. We actually have an office in Muskegon, downtown, corner of 6th and Western. Okay. And we actually, last fall, opened an office in Shelby. Oh, wow. So, real excited about working with Oceana and uh, really getting established up there. It's a smaller office, so, mm-hmm. if, you know. If you get the voicemail, leave a message, we'll get back to you. Still a great resource for everybody. Great resource. The Health Project here in Muskegon. Stevie Ryle, yes. thanks for coming in. Thank you. And you know what? We'll put this all up at muskegonradio.com. We'll put all the links and all that stuff so everybody can come a little bit later on and find out what you guys offer. Great. Thank you so much. Hey, you know what? And it, it, it all starts just like we talked about at the beginning of this interview. I share something about a mm-hmm. garage sale going on for a guy that needs a heart transplant. Yeah. You jump in and say, hey, I can help. And then look at, and then you just tell me that this family's on their way in to see you guys uh, soon. That's what I hear. Nice. Yeah. Amazing how that community thing works, isn't it? Everything crossed. Love being that. Yes. It is uh, great to have you here, Stevie, and uh, the door will be open Thank for you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. The Health Project, you can learn more about it online at muskeganradio.com in moments. Right now, Kim Mitchell telling you to go for a soda. Muskegon's 100.9.